When young parents Stephanie and Jonathan found their current home, they were looking for a place that worked for their family of four and for someone very special. My mom used to live here and she stayed with us for about two years. She was a big help taking care of the girls. One of the reasons why my mom left was because downstairs where she was living felt like a basement. It was dingy, it had that basement smell to it. It's really cold down there, it's really dark down there. We can make the downstairs brighter and more inviting and hopefully we can entice her back. I would like to bring my mom to a brand new house where we don't have to worry about anything. When we bought this home, I saw all these deficiencies and I was thinking that over time we can fix these. Now we have two kids. I don't want to fix it. I don't want to pay somebody to fix it. This older home means it has more character. If you want character, watch TV. Yeah, the laundry room is disgusting. There's no storage in there and it's also being shared with our cat boxes. There's always going to be that dust from cat litter and it's always going to get on the freshly washed clothes. You know, I can't go to work smelling like cat litter. Or even if we got a new house, they still have to have cat litter. Currently, there's no dedicated play area for the kids. Uh, there's always toys everywhere. The toys are going to be everywhere no matter what. Another issue that we have is with the kitchen. It is like a black hole in there. It is dark. We can just slap some new paint on it so it's not so dark. Uh, we need an open concept, something where we can be doing our stuff in the kitchen and see what the kids are doing. Earls, are you OK? If we knocked out the wall to the kitchen, we'd be able to see them, so it wouldn't even be an issue. About 20 years ago, the previous homeowners added a garage. What they forgot to do was add a door from the garage to the house. Having a garage with no door is annoying, but it is an easy fix. We have a pretty decent sized deck. The problem is there's tons of bugs, mosquitoes. Too many bugs, let's go. All we need to do is screen in the back porch and it's a livable space. We got stuff going on in the bathroom. Imagine having black stuff coming out of your tap water. Would you want to stay? I agree that it needs to be taken care of, but I don't think we have to leave this house. We have two fireplaces we can't use. So we'll just get a gas insert and fix the problem. A better solution is for us to find a place that fits needs for us, our children, and our mom. We can do that in this house with just a little bit of work. This house is the place that we brought our children home from the hospital to. This is the only house they've lived in their whole lives, and I don't want to leave. We are definitely going to list it. We are definitely going to love it. Stephanie and Jonathan have a big decision ahead on where to live, but it all begins with a meeting with Hillary and David to nail down the budget. We've been through your house. It doesn't seem like it has any major issues. So I'm curious what is driving us being here. My mom is a driving force. She okay. lived with us for a couple of years. She left, but we know that in the future she will be back with us. All right, so I've done an evaluation on your home. Current value is 287000 Sounds about right. What is the must-have list to get you out of your house? We would like a spacious, open-concept house, four bedrooms and three bathrooms, separate in-law suite for Jonathan's mom, a two-car garage, a home office, a fenced-in backyard for our girls to play in, a screened-in porch, and a playroom for our girls. What's the budget for that beautiful house? $350,000. I didn't notice anything about neighborhood. We'd like to stay around here, okay. but we're willing to move outside this neighborhood a little bit. I'm happy, how about you? Oh, you're never happy, what am I talking about? Okay, so I've seen the house too, but I need to know from you exactly what you think you need to be convinced to stay. We will need an updated living space for my mom, add an additional bathroom on the lower level, an updated laundry room, renovate the kids' bathroom, proper play area, add a door that connects the garage to the main house, fix the fireplace, create an open concept kitchen, and add in a screen and back porch. What's my budget? Your budget is $65,000. You've given me a massive list for $65,000. We have to have that list. Then I would tell you, well, I have to have more money. So we're both going to have to find our compromises. This here. whole house is a compromise. <laughs> Why? It's a nice house. This house is full of surprises. I've never had a house that hasn't had a surprise yet. But nevertheless, it doesn't phase me because it's a good house. But I do believe that when I'm done, you're going to love it. Don't worry about the compromises here because I'm gonna find you a house that actually satisfies everyone, especially your mother. And when I find that house, the only thing you're gonna be saying about this house is listed. So you say. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. All right. Come on in here into the catacomb. 
So her complaint is dark and no sight lines. I love the idea of getting that wall down, but where am I going to put the fridge? Then you've got to figure out what's got to be moved. So let's just see what's entailed. I definitely will. Take a look. Not bad. Now imagine bath time for two little girls, plus at least one adult. <laughs> uh, yeah. If we get rid of this double vanity the way it is, we reduce it to a single sink, which is what they have now, and I just swing that toilet around and move it into the space over there. And I'm not even sure about the tub right now. You can see it's all worn. What is this black soot coming what? out here? Oh, my God. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Please look into that in a hurry. That could be a big deal. I'm on it. So right down there at the bottom of the property, that's a bog. It's like a breeding ground for mosquitoes. They need a screened-in porch here. We're just going to do an area. We've got to figure out if we can do that. Absolutely. So this is going to be basically the everybody room. This has to be storage for the toys. Meanwhile, it's also going to be a sitting area for everybody. Jonathan insists that he needs that to be a working wood-burning fireplace. Now we get to the real crux of this basement. We need to update this in-law suite to hopefully get Jonathan's mother to move back in. So here's my idea. Starting here, I can take part of this laundry room and turn it into a two-piece bathroom. The balance of it is going to be, obviously, laundry with a laundry sink and as much storage as we can get in here. OK? What else? This has been just a dumping room. This is going to be part of Cindy's suite. I am going to take down the wall between this room and this room. To make it truly private, I'm also going to take down this wall and move everything forward so my access will actually be this way. And the moment you open this door, you're now going to be into Cindy's suite. Now, here is the key to everything. Here is the bathroom that would be Cindy's absolute private ensuite once we can close it off from the hallway. I feel like we could just upgrade all the fixtures, different color paint. Simple enough. So look at this. That's deep. What I have to figure out somehow is access from here to the main floor. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Anyway, I'll figure it out. And that's it. We're done. We're done. I'm melting. You melting? Yeah, we could get out of here. Let's go. It's so hot. After coming up short with the houses he's shown Stephanie and Jonathan so far, David's final pick comes loaded with everything they're looking for. Let's just get my concerns out of the way. And there are only two. The first one is the yard space. The second one is the amusement park-like driveway. And you'll know what I mean when you see it. Other than that, it's 3,000 square feet of goodness. It's got the four bedrooms they need. It's got the three bathrooms they need. It's got the open concept where they want it. It's got a completely self-contained in-law suite for their mother. There's a couple little things they might want to do, but the price is going to make up for it. I'm loving this neighborhood. Yeah, Isn't I this like a great the trees. Place? Yeah. 15 minutes yep. from your work? That's right. Beautiful curb appeal. Pretty steep driveway. Yeah. <laughs> Think about how trim you'll be after living here for a couple of years. Walking into this house, you've actually got a more traditional main floor area. This is a formal living room area. This okay. is a good space. The dining room, a great space to entertain. I like this room. Then it flows right into the kitchen. What do you think? It's a good size for us. It may need a little bit of updating. I agree, but I thought it's an easy fix. Access to your <laughs> garage. And right into the kitchen. And then you have this amazing family room. It's got carpet, which is perfect for the two-year-olds. Yeah, this room looks like a safe space for toddlers. Bedroom number one. Okay. It's going to be your guest room. And it's going to be your laundry area. David. You don't do laundry every day. You don't have a guest staying over every day. No. Kids' bedroom. Number one. This, this is plenty of space. This is bigger than what they share now. Perfect. Now, this is a little bit smaller than the other bedroom. Mm -hmm. But once they transition to having their own bedrooms, everybody has their own space. Right. I do yeah. like that. So everything from here on in is all about Cindy. Does she have her own private bathroom down here? Of course. Perfect. She's going to have her private bathroom. No, oh, you no, are. no. They took the uh, half bath away, and now she has to share it. Really? Cindy's bedroom. Wow. Pretty nice, huh? Great job. We'll see more. We got a lot more. This is going to be Cindy's bathroom, just for her. And behind that door is a massive walk-in closet for really? extra storage. Okay. Right. This is really all that she needs. 
for the hangout space for Cindy, you have this. Beautiful family room area. She would really setup. like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It also has its own entrance. Not only does Cindy have her own entrance, she has her own deck. She would love this. It's the perfect setup. A quick synopsis of how you both feel about everything that you guys have seen. There were a few minor things that we needed to update, but overall, fantastic. What do you think? I don't really see much of a backyard. And like he said, just some updates that we would need to make upstairs, but yep. otherwise, it's a good space for us. What do you think this house is listed at? $390,000. What do you think? $375,000. This house is listed at $336,000. Oh, OK. It is below the top end of your budget. And that's before negotiating. You had one last surprise, didn't you? Stephanie and Jonathan are conflicted leaving the house David's just found them and have no idea what they're about to find out as they meet up with Hillary. All right, come on in. Go this way. Okay. okay. Look at the stairs, though. It's the first time you've actually seen oh, the entry. Yeah. That looks so good. It does. Very so good. now, I understand how much you wanted this fireplace, a roaring fire, wood. Yeah, that's a pretty picture you're painting. Well, I just got the quote in, and it's pretty close to $5,000. Oh, oh, my gosh. 5000 And there's no way that I can put $5,000 into this fireplace. And the That's... good news is I don't have to, because the real reason that you wanted it was... Climate control, right? Exactly. Your HVAC system is actually a split system. So it has a switch for the upstairs, and then it has another switch for the downstairs. It just needed you to flip the switch. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. On. I'm glad that solved. That's one. Two, the famous gunk. Apparently, it wasn't a big deal either. They just oh. flashed the system. And it's done. I probably could have told you this on the phone, but it wouldn't have been nearly as much fun. No, not at all. All right, we're good. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. I'll see you soon. OK. Hey. Thank you. Uh, hey. hey. Hi. How are you? Well, how are you? You're smiling a lot. <laughs> Window? Looks so good. It's great. I'm so really? happy you get to see something that you love before we even go through the door. OK. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. It looks so oh, different. Wow. You can still have a formal dinner. It feels very it's, much an adult really space. Nice. Yeah, we've definitely entertained in here. We were talking about how the window and everything looks from the inside of the house. I love that fixture. It, it looks a lot it's brighter great. in here. This was your old dining area. Right. I just kind of flipped things around. Isn't a permanent play area. All you would have to do is clear this out, and it's another sitting area for adults. It turned out really I good. Like it. Yeah. So a minor thing in this kitchen is to have eliminated the dark green yes. paint. So and yes. instead of which, you have this nice, light subway tile. Yes. It brightens it up so much. It's not going to be depressing to cook in here anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This looks amazing. <laughs> All this the space. is so cozy. It's closed off. It's private. It's exactly, I think, what you asked me for. It is. You go find David, and then I'll catch up with you in a little bit, all right? Okay. All right. They're not going anywhere. The pre-renovation value of their home was $287,000. And with a reno budget of $65,000, the new value of their home is $365,000. That's an increase of $78,000. Making it hard. Making it very hard. Yeah. Hillary managed to transform their lower level with a new family room and updated suite for Jonathan's mother, while giving the family a brighter, more inviting main floor to enjoy. But she wasn't able to make it open concept, give them a screened-in porch, fix their fireplace, or add an additional bathroom to the lower level. David, on the other hand, found them a stunning, spacious, open concept home that was close to his work with a private mother-in-law suite and came in under budget but it lacked a fenced-in backyard and a screened-in porch. So, decision made? Yes. yes. Yes, we've made a decision. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to. Oh, 
love it. Yes! Ah, Fantastic! Yes. I love it. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you guys. <laughs> That's wonderful. You know, I figure I should celebrate all the time.